Hello, you silly peasants. Today, we're going to be making some cake pops. I went to the Starbucks and this little small shit cost $3.25. I don't even say, oh, cat, you know, what's the point of making cake pops to save money if, you, you know, you just went out and bought one? I bought this because I know there are some ancient peasants watching this <laughs> that are probably like, what is a cake pop? You know, this is what it is. It's a cake ball dipped in some chocolate and sprinkled with a very nice, beautiful array of sprinkles. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make better cake pops than this small <laughs> I'm not just going to make some basic pink cake pops, I'm going to make cat cake pops. Okay, I have my strawberry dress, really cute, really cute. Last time I made my banana bread, my rodent sister told me that she tried to make it and it just came out really bad. but. She forgot many important ingredients, and in my opinion, she used too many bananas. <laughs> Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? Get a big bowl to put your mixins in. The cake mix I'm gonna use is just this super moist French vanilla. There's pudding in the mix, okay? So you want to empty up your damn cake mix and pour her in this shit. If you put too much cake mix in there, the feds might come to your house. You also want to get your whisk. Look at how rich I am. I got a whisk now. I'm no longer using my fork. I got a pink whisk. She may be fake, but at least she looks nice. Next, you want to add your ingredients to your bowl. One cup of water third of a cup of vegetable oil. I think this is a third. Three eggs. Now you're gonna wanna stir up your ingredients and mix the wet with the dry. To all you trollops out there that are hating on me from your stained futons from what you've done on Friday night, get off that stained futon. Don't text him back. Get your ass to work. Sell a foot pick or two and get you this pink whisk. Nice and dripping. At least in the end, you'll be satisfied. Let's have some fun. Oh my god, that better not have gone in my hair. Okay, whatever. Get to whisking. I'm gonna go ahead and add this extra egg. Oh my God, that was really dangerous and scary. When your husband comes home from work and you know, he has a little to-go plate of baked goods and you're asking yourself at night, oh my gosh, I wonder if that lady brought those baked goods just for him or if she brought them for the whole office. I brought it just for him, girl. Now you eat it, I'm gonna be in your dreams. You're gonna wanna oil down your pan. Pour this. Now that you transferred your batter into this plate, you're gonna wanna pop her in the oven at 350 degrees. You're just gonna wait 30 minutes in the oven. What? Don't wait in the oven, of course. Put your cake in the oven for 30 minutes and then when it comes out, you'll see what it looks like. While we're waiting, let me tell you guys a little bit of history of cake pops. So. I'm a fan of cake pops. I've loved them all my life, ever since maybe I was in middle school. I remember when these cost a dollar fifty. There's been many times in my life where I've tried to eat these or make these, and you know, one of my arch nemesis just they, they trigger me with these cake pops. You know, they just show them in my face and they're like, "Why don't you make me a cake pop, woman? Get in the kitchen. Get get out of here." So you know, this is a very traumatizing dessert. You know what? I'm taking my power back as the baking queen and I'm gonna make these on my own. Whether Starbucks wants to upcharge me, you know, whether they take away my rights as a woman or whether <sighs> I go back to work tomorrow and I have to do my physics homework tonight. Life is just really hard lately. 
So I took the cake out after 30 minutes and it looks like this. So I'm pretty sure it's done. I know it looks a little brown, but I don't think it's burnt. It's definitely not. So you're just gonna empty your cake into a big pot and you're gonna start mashing it or smashing it into crumbs with a fork. You wanna do this while it's still really hot. But anyways, just mash your cake into damn crumbs. Okay, you want it to be like sand. You guys, I really don't wanna go to work tomorrow, but you know what, I'm just gonna suck it up and stop being a crybaby. Maybe I'll give some of these cake pops to, you know, my coworkers or maybe my boss, probably not. That peasant doesn't deserve it, unless I poison it. Keep mashing your cake until it is crumbs. This is gonna take a lot of your arm strength. So it's important that you're long and strong. This is what I've been training for. I'm gonna get this homemade buttercream that I made. Yes, it looks like Alfredo sauce, but it's not. And I'll show you the recipe right here of how I made this homemade buttercream. Okay, and I'm gonna just pour however much I want because this is what the cake looks like now, okay? Really mashed up, crummy. There's some big pieces in there, but you know what? The people that eat these cake pops, like me and, you know, myself and I, we need to be grown and stop being childish little peasants. And let's have, you know, who cares if there's a big chunk of cake in there? You just wanna get your damn Alfredo sauce, I mean your homemade buttercream, and you're gonna pour some in here. Eyeball it, okay? Ooh, that's a good amount. And yeah, I know I can go the lazy way and just get store-bought buttercream. But what do I look like? An idiot? You want this to feel like kinetic sand. You know what else is kinetic? Energy and physics that I have to do later. Uh, when it was Sunday, four or five days ago, I told myself, I'm gonna do all my physics homework and I'm gonna take the test early so I don't have to worry about it today, which is, you know, my baking day and uh, my YouTube day. So I could just relax and have a fun day, basically. This mother trucker, I did all that work and this home makes an assignment due today. My free day, my care free self care day. He makes an assignment due. So now after I'm done baking, I can't even really enjoy my night because then I got to, got to think about my physics homework. And he grades so harsh, you know what I mean? Like I thought if I just turn in the assignment, he'd give me the points, but no, he actually looks at my problems. Eh, peasant. Why do you care so much about physics? Why don't you care about your wife? You know, pleasing her. Or you know, they can't be paying you that much. <sighs> Let's take a sip of this. I think this is a very nice mixture. And now the next step we're gonna do is form them into balls. And last time I suffered and used my hands, but you know, I thought I don't deserve to go through that again. So I got this little cake pop kit from Amazon. So this is actually really useful for me because not only can I use this to make my cake pop balls very nice and precise, I could use this on a peasant when he seems to look the other way. <laughs> now your eyes are mine. Yeah, this is so good. Oh my God. You don't have to suffer and use your hands like I was the other day. Very horrible and tragic and I got a bunch of stuff in my nails. This is amazing. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get these cake ball scoops and I'm gonna put them all on this tray right here. And then I'm gonna put them in the freezer for 20 minutes. You guys, my stomach hurts really bad and I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I'm just nervous about my physics class. I don't know if it's because this dress might be suffocating my boob circulation. I don't know if it's because I had a lot of coffee. I honestly don't know what it is, but my stomach just hurts and you need to know that and feel sorry for me. And you honestly need to get me a delivery of some sort of stomach healing potion immediately. So yeah, I just need to let you know. So now that we have our scooped up balls of cake, we're gonna place them in the freezer for 20 to 25 minutes. And this is how many I have. Look how many I made with my little scooper. We're going to melt the chocolates. And I got this Ghirardelli white chocolate. 
and I put some in here. You also need some damn coconut oil. And you're gonna wanna put, I'm gonna, there's a gnat here. You guys, I've seen this gnat for 10 years. I don't know how to get rid of her ass. I've boiled water, put it down the drain, and she keeps coming back. And it's not multiple of them, it's, I see the same exact one, and I'm pissed. Get your coconut oil, get your white chocolate, and put some coconut oil in it. Okay, and if you got the good white chocolate that's easy to melt, you can plop her in the microwave because, quite frankly, I don't have the time to do a little stove boiler hot water on the bottom like an ancient pilgrim. So, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute or so. Here's my cake pop stand. I have this Amazon box that I just stabbed out of anger. And we're gonna put our sticks in here. Okay, so you're gonna stir your white chocolate until she's nice and smooth. Well, also, I almost forgot, you guys, since we're making these cat cake pops, I might make a Hello Kitty one. Let me show you the trick to make the cat ears. Okay, this better work. I'm using chocolate chips. And you're gonna get some of your white chocolate. You're gonna dip it on these corners. So you're gonna put chocolate chips as the ears. Okay, so here's your little cat cake pop. Now we're dipping her. Oh my God. Okay, we have our little cat. Look how cute. Look at this Amazon stand. After these holes that we used that we stabbed in anger. <gasps> shit! Shit! Did I stab it too much? Oh my god. So she's definitely not cold enough. So I'm gonna put the ears on these cake pot balls and then I'm gonna freeze them again. So I'm gonna try to dip the white cat cake pot first. Which hopefully I can make into Hello Kitty. So I'm gonna dip this stick in the white chocolate. And then I'm gonna get a cat ear one. This one looks pretty neat. We're gonna stab her. You better work. And we're gonna submerge her in this white chocolate, just like you submerged me in your misery. What? Okay, hopefully she's sticking. Okay, Hello Kitty looks kind of chunky, but that's okay. Why is it looking like this? Like a snowman. It's okay, you guys. I'm just gonna make her some eyes right now. With this black icing, I'm gonna give her some eyes. It's okay, so here's Hello Kitty's eyes. Okay. Does it look like Hello Kitty? Okay, there you guys. We got Hello Kitty right here. Here's my Hello Kitty cake pop. Do you like it? Or do you love it? She's kind of chunky. Okay. Well, this isn't Hello Kitty. This is Ola Gata. I tried to do the original Hello Kitty. This is what happened to her. This is Ola Gata. Their eyes are just falling apart, but their lives are tasty. This is so bad, you guys. Maybe I'm not good at Hello Kitty, whatever. I'm just gonna do a basic cat. So. Again, little stick, dip her in the chocolate, cold cake pop, stab her in the bottom, dip, submerge. Submerge, shake off the excess. Pretty cute, okay. Well, maybe I can give it a nose and some whiskers. And like a bow. This is what she looks like. Isn't she slaying? Okay. Oh my God, she even has a tail. You guys, I did not even do that on purpose. She even has a tail. Okay, look at her. I'm gonna try to remake the classic Starbucks birthday cake cake pop. Pretty simple, you just need pink frosting or pink chocolate and um, some like pearls. Dip our stick in this, okay. And then stab her 
and bottom. Submerge. Oh! This does not look like a birthday cake pop. This looks like an infection. Oh, come on! Come on! I'm tired of it in front of the peasants. I'm gonna use these little pink sprinkles that I have. So, let's get our sticks. Stabbing her in one of these basic ball hoes. Okay. Then I'm submerging her ass. Okay. Submerge, submerge, submerge. Oh my god, no, too much chocolate. Cute. Okay, you guys, I found I found my, my calling. It's just the sprinkles ones. Look how cute this is. Here are my cake pops so far. We have Emo Kitty, okay. We have Chlamydia, okay. We have Hello Kitty, Emo Kitty. Um, we have pink sprinkles. We have me. Look at how cute I am. Ola Gata has seen things that she shouldn't have seen. And like her nose just went down because she got a botched surgery in Miami. So Ola Gata, I'm sorry. I'm going to do some more of the sprinkles. Because besides them looking not their best, they sure are cute. So we're going to dip in the pink. And we're going to stab. Oh my god, the cake pops are not as cold anymore. I have to be quick. And we're going to go sprinkles. Come on, come on. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. That's it. Just dipping them to get rid of this chocolate. So you know what? Pink cake pop. I'm using the short sticks because I ran out of the big ones. Stab her in there. Dip, dip, dip. I'm not even going to use the pearls because clearly she's not great. You know what, you guys? Screw this. I thought I could do this. I thought I was a queen of cake pops. Clearly... I'm not. So you know what? Maybe the Starbucks $3.25 is good. Well, if you care about the way it looks, then yeah, go ahead and get one of those. But if you're just doing it for taste, just make yourself one because right now I have 30 cake pops right now. Comment below which one was your favorite. Was it the STD one or was it the STD one? Or what about the emo kitty? Okay, what about the pink sprinkles? Well, what about me? I like this one. What about Hello Kitty? Okay, what the hell is wrong with you, Hello Kitty? I don't know. What about Ola Gata? Yeah, I don't know about her either. Or, you know, what about the other, like, cute cat? This is just my very lazy one. Um, I like the Sprinkles one, too. You know, here's the plain one. There's the pretty easy plain jeans. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you love this video.